I named the show before I really came up with like what I wanted to do with the theme. And um, once once I started kind of rolling with it, uh, I took about three months to paint the show, and it wasn't about a month into working on my paintings that I really like kind of formulated the, the direction of the show. And it was after watching this uh, um, Basquiat uh, documentary called Radiant Child, and um, uh, they were showing his portraits that he did of people that he found significant in his own uh, kind of uh, formulation and um, and it just clicked and I was like portraits um, and uh, so I started doing I just started painting portraits I started with Walt Whitman and um, uh, Walt Whitman was the perfect example to me uh, you know he was a nurse in the Civil War and uh, he uh, uh, decided to be a writer and um, he, he kind of gave up a lot of things in his life just to write Soon as you're born, they make you feel small. They're giving you no time instead of it all. The pain is so big you feel nothing at all. A working class hero is something to be. Working class hero is something to be. They hurt you at home and they hit you at school. They hate you if you're clever and they despise a fool. It's based off of a John Lennon song and uh, off his uh, uh, Plastic Ono Band al album. Um, it was his first uh, solo album that he did. And uh, the song just had a huge effect on me. And I felt like it uh, kind of um, kind of gave me the, uh, the, the feeling of uh, uh, how we're all united as humanity and um, how we're all kind of in this like we're all in this machine and um, the, the machine is oppressive and wants to stamp us out and uh, um, uh, 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 get us to be a certain way and to uh, um, act and behave a certain way in the, in the structured society. And um, I, I think the song just kind of like, the lyrics in that song just kind of um, break that apart and uh, um, Kind of show the 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 inhumane aspects of um, uh, the American dream, basically, of like fighting and climbing and um, uh, uh, trying to get to the top of the heap, and then like um, you know, once you get to the top, what what is there actually? Working class hero is something to be. There's room at the top, they are telling you still. But first, you must learn how to smile as you kill. You want to be like the folks on the hill. Working class hero is something to be. Working class hero is something to be. If you want to be a hero, then just follow me. I, I did a um, big portrait of my older brother, and uh, uh, my older brother uh, passed away in uh, 1999. And uh, um, I always wanted to do a portrait of him, but I've just never, um, I've never had the confidence. And actually, after um, I had a, a flow of portraiture going, it, it hit me. I, I have to paint my brother for this show. It's really important to me, and. Um, you know, uh, I have a lot of friends that we had a lot of friends in common, and um, 
I knew it would be an important painting to to those people and also to my family. And uh, most importantly, like it was important to me to actually paint it. And that was the hardest painting to paint for the show. It, um, it took the most amount of time and uh, um, it was the most emotionally challenging. Uh, you know, I, I cried for hours while painting it. And, um, and it was a really interesting experience kind of happened while I was painting it. I felt like my brother was in the room. And, uh, and, and my brother was really one of the um, biggest teachers for me in how to paint. And like, he taught me a lot about, a lot about painting and color theory and um, light source and uh, um, composition and things like that. And uh, um, so when I was painting him, I felt like he was really teaching me how to paint him. And um, he was being kind of hard-nosed about it and making me start over with parts of it. And um, he just really made me work it out thoroughly. And I, th I think it ended up being one of the strongest pieces in the show because it really just like, it, first of all, it looks like he painted it, which was interesting to me. It doesn't look like I painted it. It looks, it looks like his style of painting. How's it going? I really wanted to look at, uh, you know, who, who, who were working class people that became heroes and who were just heroes of the working class to um, uh, uh, basically this like ultimate show of a hundred pieces that like um, show, I wanted to show our humanity, you know, I wanted to show who we are, I wanted to have aspects of death, and I wanted to have aspects of sex, I wanted to have aspects of like um, the struggle of life and I wanted to have um, humor and uh, um, and love and compassion and, um, and passion and uh, so I think with all the hundred pieces of the show I think we um, uh, really accomplished that and, um, and, it, and it really showed in the show like when people showed up you could just feel the energy in the room it wasn't just an art show it was like a um, it was like a uh, um, it was like a tribal gathering, you know, and uh, um, there was tons of laughter and lots of people giving each other hugs and uh, people who haven't seen each other for a long time, uh, people meeting new people, and it was uh, one of those experiences that was um, transcendent of just a normal. Hey, this is an art show. Come look at the art. No one really talked to each other. Act like you are really smart about what good art is and bad art is and. Um, all that bullshit wasn't there, and um, you know, and that was like, uh, you know, that that's I think what I was most proud of was the fact that like um, somehow the show stripped down the bullshit of what the art world is about and just became um, a, a celebration of life and love, and uh, and um, you know, it, it, it was a beautiful thing. I swear to God, I told my girlfriend I want a ball. It was cool to be like really moved by making a piece and then like, um, you know, someone purchasing it and putting it in their own home and, uh, uh, you know, being able to get what I put into it, um, they're getting out of it. And uh, um, I, I, I think those kind of like full circle experiences are really cool to have as an artist when you actually get to like communicate with the person who purchases it and they let you know how it affects them. Um, uh, it, it kind of reconfirms, uh, reconfirms your direction as an artist. Um.